checkbooks. One talented star who did answer our call was Ernie Wise, the man who wrote all those plays. What he wrote, as he said himself, and he also had written a book about his career and shared with us some wonderful memories. Eric and I used to sleep together on tour. Would you believe we used to go into digs? We slept in a double bed. There was only one trouble. He used to snore. He used to keep me awake all night, but I cured him. Yeah. Yes, one night before he went to sleep, I gave him a big kiss and he never took his eyes off me all night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, took a, you took an awful lot. We were just saying what? earlier on today, it's not everybody would want to be a straight man because you took an awful lot of shots. A lot of beating. Hairy yeah. legs. And the stuff about the wallet, the, the yes. bank, the bank gone. Oh, fire. that's not true at all. <laughs> Better watch it. <laughs> no, that's not true at all, actually. Yeah. Um, no, well, I'm Yorkshire, you know, yeah. Terry, and I'm, uh, uh, I'm keen on money, yes, I always have been. I've always been very, very careful. Mm. I mean, I started off in show business, um, work in the working men's clubs and I used to arrange for people when I was on the club to throw pennies onto the stage and then I used to do my clog dance and they used to throw pennies, I used to collect them all and the more I clog danced the more I got the pennies then I got to, uh, sort of shouting out throw silver and I used to do that That's how we, and I used to take that money home and I used to stand it in the corner of the pantry, all the pennies, there was a big stack of them. You must come round to my place, I'll show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're 26 years of Morecambe and Wise, really, at, at maximum popularity. Uh, I know you had, a, you had a long time when nobody wanted to know. Oh, absolutely, like the other day. <laughs> you're 40, <laughs> 47, <laughs> 47 <laughs> right now, you're like now. <laughs> 47 years we were together, but we had success, uh, I think, when we went to... Uh, with the Morecambe Wise show on uh, ATV originally mm. for Lord Grey, and then we moved to the BBC. And, yeah. uh, what changed you? Because it, it used to be just a stand up back to you banging back yeah, and forth, yes. like Abbott and Costello, who I know you used to. We based your followed Abbott and Costello, we followed Laurel yeah. and Hardy. What yeah. made you go into the longer pieces, you know, yeah. where, where you would say, look, there's a good part in this song for you, and he'd stand around yeah. waiting to sing it, and yeah. you'd sing the whole song? Well, a lot of that influence was a lot to do with the writers. There was uh, Sid and Dick, Hills and Green, who I used to call Sick and Did. Yeah. And then there was uh, Eddie Braben, and because uh, he was the one who started with the, all the plays what I wrote. Yes, you remember those? <laughs> those plays what you wrote. Weren't they, they magnificent? Were, they were wonderful. Yes, yeah, they were queuing up to get onto them. They, well, they, what, they were. Yeah. I mean, you even used Laurence Olivier, didn't you? Yes, he did. He came on the show. Well, he didn't actually come on the show. He stayed at home, actually. Oh. <laughs> he, he was on the phone, and he made up this joke about... Uh, I asked him, I said, would you stay on the Mor come on the Morecambe and Wise show? And he said, uh, Chinese laundry here. That was actors... Comedy. That's what we did. <laughs> and what about R Ralph Richardson? He... Oh, Ralph Richardson, yeah. Well, he never, know it, never knew he did it. I don't think so. I went to see him. <laughs> I went to see him in, to his house in Hyde Park. And he said, hello, you know, and he, you know, he towers way up there. And I was down here. And I said, oh, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Richardson, would you like to come on our show? I'll, I'll write a, a play for you. <laughs> and he said, couldn't you get somebody like uh, Harold Pinter to write something for us, a comedy sketch or something, about our school days? And I said, well, no, no, I mean, I'm, I mean, I write the plays. I don't want anybody else coming in. I don't know this Harold Pinter, you know. Yeah. So uh, he, he came on the show and... Um, uh, he had all these remarks, you know, my little fat friend, and make the tea urn and things like that. And he didn't know what they meant. His wife had to explain it to him. <laughs> and afterwards, uh, Ian Ogilvy said to him, did you enjoy appearing on the show, Sir Ralph? And he said, no. <laughs> he said, I felt like a cat that had been left out on the roof all night. <laughs> because he got Eric and I at him, you know, like this. We were going hammer But all the stars, like though, the, the really big well, stars we did. Yeah. Old Beatles, Penelope Keith. Andre Previn. Andre Preview. Andre Preview, Preview you yes. gave him a hard time. Well, you gave them all a hard well, time. Well, he gave us a hard time, really. What happened was we'd, we were going to do this, uh, this number with the piano. You remember the famous one? And um, when it, it came to do it, uh, we said, next Tuesday, OK? And he said, yes, I'll be there. And I said, uh, where are you going now? And he said, oh, I'm going to Los Angeles. This was like on the Saturday. I said, we, we've got the full orchestra booked and everything. And, and he went to Los Angeles on the Saturday. He came back on the Tuesday morning. And I said, well, how did you learn the script? He says, I learned it in the car. I had a torch and I read it in the back of the car, oh. coming from the airport. And he knew it better than we did. <laughs> I did see you do a situation comedy. 
Yet it would be nice, wouldn't it, if we could get it? I mean, Eric and I tried to do situation comedies through the years, but we never did. I mean, we could never... We tried to lengthen the shows. We used to make those film bits and things like yeah. that, and we used to do the, the sketches, uh, well, the flat sketches. We tried to extend those, but we never could actually do a complete half hour because somehow we couldn't find anybody to write as a complete logical half hour like those wonderful fools and horses yeah. but I, sh I still think you should do you should try and do it what me yeah because uh, i think yes. you're a very good actor i thought you were the best straight well, man i've ever seen in thank you very well i'm acting now you know I'm... You're are you this is not you no this is not me i'm an actor